Hey, 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 so uh, I'm here fixing my dryer. Um, so basically, uh, we were doing our dryer and it, uh, it stopped heating. So we, uh, I had to go get some stuff. So basically to show you, so, so I popped off the back panel here and then basically all this is there. So I, was, I did do some shot back and then I thought it was the timer, which is up here. Um, just because the timer wasn't going all the way through, but sometimes there's some other causes. So when I actually came down and looked at all the wires, I saw there was a specific wire down here that was uh, fried at one end. Let's me see if I can get it. So yeah, so that was basically all fried and the wire was fried and melted. And um, just to show you the, the other part, so like, Let's see if it will zoom in there, there it goes so that was basically charred as well so this is your heating coil which it basically goes right here so I bought a new one of these and then I got a new uh, a new one of the cables and I've already uh, cut and stripped the cable right here so eventually now I'm just going to uh, crimp it together or use the, um, I think it's called like a crimp nut right there to, to connect it. And then I'll put on the stuff and then I'll reconnect the wires and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, but other than that, so if you wanna watch, uh, you can feel free to watch, <laughs> but that's basically what I'm gonna do, just put it all together. Um, I should also say, before you do anything, make sure you unplug uh, the, the dryers don't mess with anything electrical while it's plugged in and then also uh, just uh, make sure um, you make sure you get all the right components right width of wire even if you wanted to make this uh, wire yourself so some things that I needed to do this is one I needed this I had I actually had this tool um, it really I don't even know what's called I'm too lazy to figure it out um, I'm basically just gonna call it a a bolt screw uh, driver just because basically from all the little uh, bolts right here this fits perfectly you can unscrew it um, you could probably use other things and then I needed um, some wire cutters to cut and strip the wire so I can connect it and other than that that's basically all I needed and if you see anything I am um, wearing my pajama dinosaur pajama pants because I just don't care it's the weekend chill and relax um, also I just want to say I'm wearing gloves because when I was stripping the wire I nicked uh, my knuckle on this vent which is really sharp and actually cut it and then my hand was pretty much covered in blood so that was fun so anyways I'm just gonna <laughs> put on this new wire here make sure I line up both ends right here I'll put it in the the crimp nut so basically I stripped it to about the same length I'll put it in, I'll twist it and make sure it's tight. So the bottom is lined up so. And granted, I'm not like the best at this. I've never really done this before. So this is very much novice stuff and uh, just DIYs. But overall this costs um, under $50 to get everything for this. And so I'd rather spend $50 under fifty dollars to try to do it myself than to um, spend a couple hundred to uh, to basically get a new dryer or even spend a couple hundred dollars more to get an appliance um, guy out here to fix the dryer um, so basically the test if this is a good connection so I just slid them in and I twisted this till it was tight um, I don't see any wires on uh, past this, so that should be good. I'm gonna tug at it to see if it if it slides off, I have to redo it. But if it's good and tight and won't slide off, then um, we are good to go to the next step. So let's tug. So I'm tugging. It is um, it is not coming off, so I would say that's a good crimp. Uh, you can probably tell me if I'm wrong or not, but. As of right now, that looks pretty good. Um, other than that, I am going to 
basically screw on my um, heating coil there and put in the stuff and then we'll plug it in. Um, if you wanted to, uh, which I already did, the best of my ball, <laughs> you can see my shot back here, is you can pretty much do a quick uh, sucking up of the lint that you find in here, um, just so you can keep it nice and clean. But other than that, I am going to uh, be putting everything back together. Slid up in there. Okay. The holes will line up. We'll find out soon enough about the holes. Should start screwing. bolted on the heating coil so now I just need to take um, uh, this piece right here and attach it here and then I can plug in the cables and then um, we are good to go yeah this is gonna be fun this is the fun part okay about getting that on in there first it has like a little lip on it that keeps it from popping out and so now it's just trying to get it all on that little clip three hours later so up in here and let's push that on There it goes. At least, uh, there we go. That's clipped in. We'll plug this bad boy back in. There. All right, that's plugged in. This is plugged in, and now we'll plug in the new wire here. All right, that's plugged in. I just make sure. It's all plugged in all the way. I believe that is. Maybe I'll push that one a little bit more. That one looks on. Let me try this a little bit more here. Okay. All right, so that should all be clipped in there. Uh, so that's put back on. That's clipped in there. Because of this little, like, little slide tab thing that's pretty secure. Um, plug that back in. This is back in here. Um, that is plugged in back over that part. That's plugged up here. This is where I had to cut the wire and uh, recrimp it. This is the new wire. This is new. This is new. Um, again, bolted it here. Bolted back in here. This hole didn't line up super perfect, so I had to like uh, finagle it a little bit. Um, basically, other than that, I just need to put this back on, screw it in all the fun screws throughout, uh, put this exhaust hose back on, uh, plug it in, and it'd be ready to go. So, anyways, if this still, if it's still not heating and that dial's still not uh, finishing, then I'll probably change out this. I'll probably change out that first, maybe. And then I do have a new one of this, and I also have a new one of this, just in case. Those are the culprits that are causing that dial to not stop. So other than that, that's basically changing out the heating coil and that whole system. So um, I'm gonna put this back on, and that's basically it. I'll probably have an update at the end to see if it actually works. Hey, so just a little update on the dryer. So I, after doing the, those changes, I had to uh, still uh, do some more fixes. I had to replace some fuses. I replaced the other uh, parts 
in there that I got with my heating coil set. And then I also flipped the breaker as well. And then after doing a dry, uh, it, it did heat up inside, so it was heating, but the timer still doesn't uh, fully shut off. It stops at like the five minute mark. So eventually we're just gonna run it a few more times just to double check, make sure. And if everything is still working really well, then uh, we'll probably buy a, a timer. Um, to a timer slash dial to replace that uh, that's a little bit more expensive so i just don't want to buy it and then it still doesn't really work fully so we're going to run some more tests uh, but as of right now the dryer's heating up and everything's working so have a wonderful day